Hi, it's Anika from Living For Later. And I, as I have mentioned before, my husband and I, we have six children. And whenever we go out, it's inevitable. Someone always asks, are all of these children yours? And I say yes. And 80% of the time, the question that follows is, how do you do it? And I typically smile and say, prayer. And some people just <laughs> don't really know what to do with that response. But truly, um, that is the truth. Like I would go crazy. I would be a crazy woman if it wasn't for prayer because my six children have such distinct personalities and I need the wisdom of God to know how to rear them. So for me, prayer is just something that I have to do. It's a necessity. It's my lifeline. And you, you know, not only do I pray for my children, but I want my children to also cultivate a heart of prayer. And I could speak and tell them, pray, 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 pray. But I, I, I recognize that it helps them when they see me pray, when they know that I'm interceding on their behalf, when I model for them how to pray. And, you know, prayer, again, as I've been speaking on this entire series, it's such a powerful weapon. And I think about um, just the, the the prayers of a mother and it's a powerful thing when a mother prays i i think about um hannah in, in, in um first samuel chapter one and how she was barren and she couldn't you know she couldn't conceive and, and she went to the temple and she was in such distress and she was pouring out her, her heart to the Lord and her, only her lips were moving and, and, and the priest Eli thought she was drunk and it was just that she was in such distress and she was pouring out her heart in prayer and when she t explained to Eli what was going on, he said, you know what, God has heard and he has granted your request and it's amazing to me because as you read on, you see that the Lord opens her womb and blesses her with Samuel, right? A great prophet and I, I think about that as a mother, how I have the ability to, 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 because of my prayer, to speak life when there is barrenness, right? You may be a mother now where your child, it seems like just death is surrounding them because of the choices that they, they're making. Don't throw up your hands in despair. Your prayers have the ability uh, 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 to bring them back to life, to bring them back into the kingdom of light. So don't make light of your ability and the power that God has given you as a mother to pray. Whatever the barrenness is right now for you as a mother, you pray. You pray and you believe the Lord to work it out. And then you, you go to the um, book of Timothy. I think it's 1 Timothy, 2 Timothy. I'll have to um, put the caption on the screen later. But um, you see how Paul is speaking to Timothy and he's telling, reminding him of um, just the faith of his grandmother and his mother, Eunice, right? And to have faith, you have to be a woman of prayer. And I think that that's just such an awesome um, compliment. At least for me, it would be such an awesome compliment to know that because of my prayers, right? Faith in my children have been um, will be developed because of my prayers. My children will make a decision to serve the Lord because of my prayers. My children will um, be launched into their destiny. So you 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 may be asking, what are some of the things that I pray concerning my children? Right, I, I pray um, that they will have hearts to obey. Um, first, obey God, and then. If they obey God, it's inevitable. They will, as the scripture says, obey me, right? Because it is right, according to Ephesians 6 and 1. So that's a constant prayer that I pray uh, for my children. The other thing that I pray is um, Proverbs uh, 2, 5, and 6, that, um, Lord, I pray that my children will trust in you with all of their heart, that they won't lean on their own understanding, that in all their ways they will acknowledge you so that they you will direct their path. I, I also pray um, that they would have like just an appetite for holiness and that they would shun the very appearance of evil. There's 
so much that's bombarding our children. The time is just wicked, right? Evil is just out there. I don't want my children to be gobbled up and I don't want them to ever live in a state of compromise. I want them to embrace the fact that they are peculiar, that they are chosen. So I pray accordingly. I, I pray that they would be holy um, as God, right? Himself is holy. Um, so these are just a few examples of what I pray concerning my children. I pray that they would, won't be conformed to this world, right? But that they would be transformed through the renewing of their minds. So I just want to encourage you, if you have not been actively praying for your children, to start, ask the Lord to give you the specific scriptures to, to meditate on, to pray so that you can form their identities, that you can help to form their destinies through the prayers that you pray. Um, if you click on the link above, um, I also have some suggestions on my blog on how you as a mother can teach your child how to pray. You be blessed. I'm going to end with a word of prayer. Father, I just thank you. I thank you, Father, for every mom that is watching this video. Lord, I know that um, rearing children can be such a difficult task, but God, when you call us to be mothers, God, you equip us, God, with all that we need. And Father, it's a matter of just continuously coming back to you, God, our source of strength to be filled up. So I just pray right now, God, for every weary mom, every mom, God, that, that just feels overwhelmed, God, um, by the call of motherhood. Every mom, God, that, that just feels like there's just so much despair because the children aren't obeying. The children have gone wayward. I just speak hope and life into that mom. I, I pray, God, that they would pick up the mantle of prayer, God, and intercede, God, for their children. I pray, God, for the mothers who have given up hope, God. I, I pray, God, that you would just restore a sense of hope in these mothers, Father. I pray, God, that you would give the mothers, God, just, just the confidence to recognize, God, that, that as they're walking, God, in obedience to, to your word, God, that you have given them, God, the authority to decree a thing. I, I, I pray right now, God, that these Mothers, God, would just uh, be bold enough, God, to decree that every curse over their the lives of their children, God, that those curses would be broken, Father. I pray right now, Father, that you would give uh, 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 these moms, God, to just speak, God, against every work of darkness, God, that's just invading their household, Father. I pray right now, Father, for every mom that's watching, God, that, that, that Lord, they would just recognize, Father, just the authority that you've given them in prayer, Father, and, and, and to exercise that authority. Authority, Father, to just uh, get away from all of the distraction, God, and to tune into you, Father, so that we can pray, God, and watch you move on our behalf. I thank you, God, for just giving them, God, a mighty our harvest, God, as a result of their prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.